What's going on, Faded Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and we're back again with another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna run y'all down my step-by-step -step process on doing a burst fade here on my man, Sydney. For those who have been requesting it, down in the comments section. Also, thank y'all for everybody that's been leaving us the positive feedback, as we do look over all the comments that y'all leave. And uh, yeah, so with that being said, let's get started. Alright guys, so before I begin, I always like to kind of start first visualizing where I will be setting my three guidelines and then proceed with starting the haircut. For this one, I'm going to come down with the one open and go with the grain so that I could conserve his wave pattern all over the top of the hair. And uh, I'm going to just continue giving it several strokes until I get the whole top of his hair nice and even. Make sure that when you get to the swirl part, you start from the inner part of the swirl and uh, work your way outward so that you don't leave any bald spots running the clipper across the swirl. And we're going to continue this process as many times needed until everything on top is nice and even. Next, I'm going to grab my clipper with the lever closed and set down my first guideline. And since we're doing a burst, I will start right here a little bit behind the ear and curve it coming up until his temple peak area. And we'll just continue the process on the opposite side of his head so that both sides match evenly. And now that that is set, we're going to come in with the open lever, that's a half, and we're going to lay down our second guideline coming up about a half inch high. Be sure that when you're laying down these guidelines, you're not applying too much pressure on the clipper as you will or can irritate your client's head. And plus, you don't want your guidelines to be set down so, so hard so that they're too harsh to blend out. Next, we're grabbing the one guard lever open and then we're going to come up about another half inch high. As you're setting in these guidelines, be sure you're continuously brushing away any loose hair in the direction that the hair growth, the hair growth pattern is. That way you maintain a clean area throughout the whole process. And anything we do to one side, we're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Next, I'm going to come in with the two guard with the lever still open and we're going to come up and kind of just blend out the side up into the top of the hair. This won't really do much, but it will take care of these little light frizz hairs that kind of poke out and help kind of smooth out the sides of his head. And as you see here, we're left with our three guidelines that need to be blended out. We'll start by focusing on blending out the uppermost guideline right here. And for that, I'm going to come in with the one and a half clip open to about three quarters and start working out that top guideline a little section at a time until we get it completely blended out. And as you see here, as I'm blending out these guidelines, I'm always kind of working the clipper against the direction of the hair growth. That way it like helps take out these guidelines. Cause if you kind of come in sideways or with the hair growth pattern, it just, it basically won't do anything to the hair. Now that that guideline is out, we'll come back in with the half clip this time, leaving the lever still to that three quarters and start working on taking out the middle guideline. You'll notice that this clip alone won't completely take out the middle guideline as it will leave a, a more of a softer guideline right above it, but be careful not to take it out completely with this guideline because you will kind of end up taking the fade up higher. 
but uh just focus on the initial start of the middle guideline on uh basically softening it up and right now we'll come back in with the one clip to finish taking it out So as you see here, it needs a little bit more work. So we're gonna come in with the one guard, leaving the lever still to that three quarters to finish blending out the middle guideline completely. And we're gonna repeat the exact same process on the opposite side so that both sides run consistent with each other. And all that we're left with is this last initial guideline. And for that one, I'll start with the clipper lever closed, then I'll open it halfway, and then I'll open it all the way, gradually opening it up as I move up a tad bit at a time. So as you see here, I'm starting with the lever closed all the way, and I'm gonna just basically stay right there where the initial guideline is and just kind of focus on splitting that guideline up until it gets blended out. And then I'm gonna open the lever here halfway and come up a little bit higher. And then you'll see right now, I'll come back in, open the lever all the way and then finish blending it out completely. So as you see here, I open it all the way to, to basically finish blending up that first initial guideline completely. Once I was done with that guideline, I noticed some dark areas that needed some touch-up work, so I came back in with my one guard open to the third quarter and kind of worked at taking out those dark spots to basically finish smoothing out the blend altogether. And then here I just moved on to the opposite side to finish taking out that initial guideline. Again here guys, starting with the clipper lever closed to start taking out the initial guideline. Then I open it halfway, moving up a tad bit higher to continue the process of blending it out. And again, I just opened it all the way to finish taking out this last line completely. And that's pretty much it with taking out the guidelines. Next, I'm gonna come in with my trimmers to start taking out the bottom of the hair. And you'll see that I come in with them upside down as they leave a border guideline. And then I'll quickly flip my clipper back to the upright position to blend out that little faint line that it left behind. Then we'll just come in with the trimmers and take out the rest of the hair that, le that was left at the bottom. And since we came in with the trimmers upside down in the beginning, it basically leaves a light little faint line that's gonna basically serve as a guideline to show you how high to take up your electric shaver. And we're just gonna repeat that process again on the opposite side till everything that was left behind is nicely shaved off. And once I was done, I quickly blow dried everything away before moving on to this next step. 
Here I came in with some mousse, applied it all over the top of his hair and kind of worked it in with a soft bristle brush, basically brushing it in the direction of his wave pattern before coming in and applying this do-rag. And uh, I kind of set it down really tight and then uh, basically blow dry it so that it basically helps with laying down his wave pattern and uh, before moving on to his lineup work. Once everything is nicely dry and laid down right, I will start with my lineup process. For the lineup process, I'll start with his middle, uh, with the middle section of his forehead and work my way to the left and the right sides of his hair and basically try to create a nice 90 degree box uh, on the corners. And then I'll move forward with lining up the back part of his hair. Uh, when doing the back part, make sure you don't round it too high up into his hairline uh just kind of step back and kind of determine what's a a nice spot to lay down his uh, the lineup next i'll apply a little bit of shaving gel before coming in with my straight razor to get everything nicely shaved off first i'll come in with the grain and shave everything away on the lineup and then uh i'll quickly flip over my blade and work the blade against the grain so that we get that much closer to the skin and it makes for a smoother shave. Make sure you're always tugging on the skin when using the straight razor. It just helps the razor slide that much more easy and uh, basically help you not cause any irritation as well. And that's pretty much it guys. I'm gonna quickly come in with my enhancements using Kiss Express, half dye, half water in my little portable airbrush. And then I'll quickly apply it to it, apply it to his lineup just to help it pop out a little bit sharper. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys. Here's a little before. And here's the after. I hope y'all guys enjoyed this tutorial and were able to take something home from it on this skin burst fade. And uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments what y'all thought. Again, guys, my name is Sergio Barron. This is Faded Culture, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.